Hey there, Social Blade fans. Dave here yet again, and we're back for another Social Blade tip. Notice we're not calling it YouTube tips anymore because there is so much more to focus on rather than just YouTube when you're branding and getting your name marketed out to the public. So we're going to give you a wider thing to look at in general when branding yourself and getting your content and yourself and your brand out to what is known as the public. So let's get started on something that is YouTube related in this case. And it's a sort of add on to a feature that has been around for quite a while, the trim slash edit command. So we're on a channel here. Let's go into our video manager. You can find this through your creator studio at the top right. Go to your video manager and find a video that you have to actually trim up. Now, in the past, you could trim the beginning and the end of a video. However, at this point, they can allow you to trim out the beginning or sorry, the center of a clip by making split points. So we have Brian Brushwood, who we've interviewed in the past from Scam School. If you haven't heard of him, go to his channel and let him know that we've sent you from the quad spot. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to the enhancements section of one of these videos that we have to trim up. And we're going to go to the trim command, this little button here. And notice it allows you to do the same thing that it's always done. Trim the beginning or the end of a clip. Maybe something just didn't start right away as you would expect. And we have the ability to fix that. So maybe we want to trim out something in the, in the middle here. So let's go and say somewhere here in the middle, something just didn't go right. We can hit the split button and we can then drag to the left and sort of take out a little part in the middle here. Also, if we add another split point, notice it allows you to delete this entire section. So you can make two split points and really get a little bit more accurate with your trimming. However, note that this isn't perfect. You can't zoom in and get in really detailed spots. So in most cases, this is going to be a quick and dirty little edit point. And if you really have to get fine details, you may want to re-download your content or go back to the source and edit it in a great professional editor like Adobe Premiere or whatever you're working with and re-render it and then re-upload it. However, if you have to do something simple like this on the fly, hit the done key and then you can save it to the original file to overwrite that or save it as a new file, which I highly recommend doing that way. You're not sort of overwriting something that could possibly have gone wrong and you'll have two files to work with. So you can revert back to the original if need be. And it also allows you to revert back to the original here. So that's all possible. And anytime you can hit the clear button and it undoes what you've done here. So great features here with YouTube's video manager and editing tool, the trim and split commands in their video editor. So that's going to be this little quick tip on the YouTube video editor. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Also, do leave us a little note if there is something that you want to see us cover in the future in these episodes. So maybe you want to learn about branding and optimization, SEO. We are all learning about that at, at Social Blade right now, and we're going to be able to help you out in the future. So leave your comments. Give us a like on this video so we know that you've watched it. And of course, comments are always welcome because we love you guys, right? So anyway, guys, if you have any thoughts or anything, well, comment section, as I just said, but also go back and check your stats at socialblade.com. We don't just do YouTube anymore. We also do twitch.tv and Instagram. So if you have those accounts for your online personality and marketing, we well, want to keep on top of that. Also, check out the Social Blade forum to collaborate with people and communicate with the public. And also the chat room is a great place to go. All great features to get your name out there and get you connected with the public in general. I'm Dave from Sonic Web Studios and SocialBlade.com. If you have anything that you need help with, go to the front page of SocialBlade.com, and down at the bottom is that Help and Support button where you can fill out a ticket, and we'll do our best to help you out. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video, and as always, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.